Hey, this is Steve. I'm just going to make a quick video about something that um, it, it's, it's about an argument people try to use to shift the burden of proof back onto the skeptic and not the bullshit argument they're trying to present. Um, I picked this meme because I'm a big Doctor Who fan and it kind of illustrates it perfectly. Teach the controversy because you can't prove there isn't a 900 year old time traveling, traveling alien who runs around the universe saving human civilization from the brink of destruction. True, you can't prove that. So it must be true, right? No, not really. Well, this is all based off an argument from ignorance. Um, the old adage, you know, people like to say a lot when they're backed into a corner. You can't prove a negative. Well, this is actually comes from the Middle Ages and is an irrelevant argument, just like everything else that comes that has come out of the Middle Ages. Um, but it, it has no meaning. And in order to just show you how this phrase has no meaning and can be dismissed upon statement, I tried to figure out a way to mathematically express this. And usually if we can take words and translate them into numbers, it can help us, or, ver or equations, this can help us explain something that we may not be able to picture when we say it out loud. Because language does translate into numbers and equations. We do it every day. All right? So the old, you can't prove a negative. So my claim is true because you cannot prove that it isn't true. Now, people use this all the time. Uh, they use it as an argument for the proof of God. They also use it as an argument for the proof of ancient aliens. You know, um, you can't prove ancient aliens didn't shape ancient civilization, therefore aliens. All right, it doesn't make any sense, and the whole argument is just crap. So after trying to think long and hard, this is the equation I came up with after several, after trying to derive it several times, and it's actually really astonishingly simple, okay? Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm holding it with my hand. So, the premise here is that we have a claim, any claim. So we have x. My premise, x, is equal to my premise. It's true. My premise is true because you cannot prove my premise is not true. So here you can see anybody who's passed high school math will know, will recognize just how this equation just doesn't can't work okay you can't have a variable x has to always equal the exact same thing okay in math that's what it is if it if it equaled anything else we wouldn't use x we'd use y or z or some other letter so but you're saying your premise is true because you cannot prove it is not true x is equal to x is not equal to x that is a false mathematical statement and it has no meaning it's like trying to divide by zero okay it's undefined all right <clears throat> So, and you can easily figure this out. Plug in any number. Five is equal to five, which is a true statement. Five equals five, always equals five, but it's not equal to five. That's not true, all right? <laughs> you can't have that situation. So, I hope that helps you uh, understand why the statement you can't prove a negative means absolutely nothing, and who cares? And you can present this equation to somebody if you want who sits there and loves to throw that around all the time. Alright, good luck.